Hey, welcome back everybody, Sign here again with another episode of my 144 multi-mod playthrough. And I just came back from the Abyss. Uh, let's see, got an idol on tablet. Uh, we got Pyromantle and Molten Pyromantle. Bunch of Scorio ore. Uh, we got Luminal now. Uh, we got Death Cells. Four presents because I did a Frost Moon again as well. So it's theoretically Christmas right now. I'll trash can that too. And crack these open. A eh, bunch of money. Okay, what do we, we got here? Uh, nothing all that good. Alright, I want to check out the uses for those. Uh, that can go away too. And Abyss Shocker. This is the one that, yeah, okay. I've had that before then. Alright, there's my guide. Alright, so what's up with this stuff here? Music box, okay. And, okay, I can make it into molten if I add lava to it. And music box. Alright. Oh, yeah, and I got this thing. Belching saxophone. Alright, so let's put that away. Summons lunatic cultist. And then I went ahead and made an astrotrunk so we can fight uh, Astrum Deus today. And rages during the day while outside. Oh, okay. That works, I guess. And let's look at our melee weapons here, right? Let's see. The Abyss Blade is new. Okay. Fire short range tridents. Interesting. Okay. Uh, it is really short range, isn't it? Um, really, there's not much new stuff that I can make, huh? Get ourselves the depth scales here. Or depth cells, not scales. So, abyssal diving gear is a thing, okay? But I need a depth charm. Alright. This will mirror the barrel claw. Actually, I need that too. Uh, Reaper Tooth Necklace, Fathom Swarmer Armor, which is summon armor. The Omega Blue Armor, which is definitely an interesting set of armor. Uh, the Hadal Urn, Undyne's Retribution, the Abyss Blade, Blood Tide. Oh, I need shark fins for that. Okay. Launches sharks because sharks are awesome. All right, typhoon's greed. Summons water spirits while in use. Okay. The black kraken. Megalodon, which is the upgrade of the mega shark. Monsoon, ballistic poison bomb, the dread mine staff. Inky artifact. We only need four thousand each of luminal and depth cells to make this. And then music boxes. Okay, so I need to go farm up some shark fins, I guess. And what is the use of this? Neptune's Bounty. Okay, eventually. Fire is a trident that rains additional tridents as it travels. Interesting, okay. Yeah, those are really, really short range. So we're going to put that away for now. And hmm. Hammerheads, that's right. I can get hammerheads from the aquatic depths, and that should help. The whale. 30,000 health. Why is a humpback coming after me? I speak whale, a biography. Okay. 
Hey, there's a shark fin. I got another wheel already, too. And another one. Wow, they're uh, pretty common. Well, okay. Didn't realize what was going on, but uh, yeah. <laughs> got a boss fight. The forgotten one. Okay, violently cracked a shell. Okay. Dang it. Breaks free of his ancient prison. Okay. Dang it, I knew it was going to happen too. Poseidon's charge. Seriously? Oh, uh, melee. I thought it said magic at first. Right click to release a damaging line of bubbles. Okay, that's not actually kind of cool. Uh, we got the Hydromancer's Catalyst. Does it do? Uh, targets nearby enemies. So it's not going to do anything until there's enemies around. Okay. Uh, how to speak whale. Summons a mountable whale. We can't move. <laughs> Obviously, right? Um, stick with the black spot for now. Thank you, though. Brackish clump. Let's see. We got Nana Clam, Cane. Trash can that. There we go. Need that. Alright, so let's put that away then. Crack these open. Pear tree. Oh, cool. Some of the partridge to follow you around. Yeah. Uh, let's see. So. There was a thing I wanted to make that required shark fins. And now I put two of them in just now. All right, so yeah, the thing I wanted to make was the flood tide, and I needed uh, sea remains to do that, so. I had shark fins. But, oh well, we just farmed up some more. Uh, the other thing I want to make is the barrel claw, which is an upgrade of the croc carapace. And then this guy is used, uh, well, what do you, the teratomir, okay. Yellow bloom. Uh... It's used to upgrade my Grand Gelatin to the Absorber. Cool, the love. Or provides great increase of life regen, damage, and damage reduction for all players inside for 15 seconds. Take immense damage when they touch you, and an afflicted with a debuff reduces damage reduction significantly. 5% of damage from enemy attacks is absorbed and converted into healing. Sweet. Yeah, definitely need to upgrade that. Uh, we need Mollusk Husk for that, though. I just realized. I gotta go fight the giant clam. Alright, then the flood tide. We shoot sharks. I mean, it's... Uh, I'm just gonna trash can those. Oh, and there's shark bits all over the ground now. And here we go. It's going to take a while to get down there, but I mean, it'll work, right? Ow, oh, you jerk. Alright. Getting closer. 
Okay, there's the music change. All right, cool. So I need... I need to find a giant clam first. Hey, there's one right there. Okay. Now, where's a good spot to fight it? it really isn't a good spot here. Um... Uh, it's... I want uh, pre-moving in water is what the thing is. Yeah, this sword's uh, kind of overkill for this guy, I guess. Oh, he's dead. Sweet. And yeah, we got 34 mollusks, husk, mollusk, husks. Uh, we got the shellfish staff. Hmm. We got the giant pearl, okay. And we got the plushie. Alright, sweet. Also, some navy stone from all the clams that he was uh, spawning in. Alright, so what else can we use the Mollusk Husk for? Uh, the Abyssal Diving Suit, okay. It requires Luminite, though. Oh, the uh, Supreme Bait Tackle Box Fishing Station. Okay. The Absorber. So let's go back to here and pull this off. The Amalgam. That requires Cosmolite, though. Uh, mollusk shell leggings, the shell mitt, and the shell plate, prismaline, and the wave skipper. Okay. So let me get this stuff put away then. Oh, hey, cool. Uh, let's see. And... Those guys are actually pretty decent. I think that I'm going to stick with the twins for now. Alright, so accessories and... Bloody worm tooth. Oh, okay, yeah, I can just craft like that. Okay. Um, do 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 Hallowed rune, did I make that yet? I did not. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, ornate shield, I actually need to have one of those. Here, grab that out so I can check uses. Uh, ninja gear. Okay, yeah, I haven't made that yet. So, the abyssal diving gear. Oh, sweet. Yeah, let's go ahead and get that made. Luminous amulet. On the abyss, you gain 25% increased max life. Hmm. That's the upgrade of the abyssal. Okay. Right, let's just go ahead and do that then. Oh yeah, Celestial Stone. It's good. Get that made. Celestial Shell. And I might use that. I might not. I don't know. But I have it at least. What am I missing for the Absorber? Oh, Shell. Okay. So... Dang. Okay, it looks like I have to go to the jungle for a bit. And what am I missing for you? Oh, okay. That's easy. Oh, it's favorite to why. Here we go. The ultimate fishing accessory. Here we go. And... Yeah, so I need a, a turtle shell. Uh, that's not going to be a problem. I can just probably hang out here and just deal with them as they come in, because... Ow! <laughs> the uh, turtles spawn relatively often, so...
that a plague shell I just saw? It is. Yeah, I got plague cell canisters now, too. Cool. All right, so should be good to go. Uh, a plagued frog here. Needs to make a statue or the frog only memory. All right. Uh, let's see. Plague cell canister. Make the alchemical flask. Projectile spawn plague seekers on enemy hits. Hmm. Uh, let's see. The amalgam. Let's see. Let's go ahead. Start to make the uh, end here. Enemy's knife is upgraded to the psycho knife. Okay. Wither blossom staff. That would be good. Yeah, let's probably make that. Plague nade. The nano black reaper. Shadow spec bars, unfortunately. Uh, the epidemic shredder. I need the cyborg to move in finally. Uh, Contagion. More shadow spec. Soul harvester. Hmm. Enemies explode when on low health, spreading the plague. All right. The abomination. Plague plate. Bunch of furniture. Plague Reaper armor is upgraded to the Necro armor. Okay. And it's, uh, it looks like Ranger armor. And there's... What is... Oh, it's just two various recipes, because there's the Ancient and the regular, okay. Then there's the Plague Bringer, which is Summon Armor. Bubonic Round. The Amalgam. Yeah, we need Cosmolite for that. And we need Ascendant Spirit Essence. Alright, so, fun stuff there. Uh, the Ornate Shield is part of Asgard's Valor, which I can make now. I need a Shield of the Ocean, I need Cores of... Maybe I might... Maybe I can make it. Or we can turn it into the Stygian Shield. Alright, so... Let's see. Here we go. Core of Calamity is one of each plus Ashes of Calamity. Okay, cool. I wasn't sure if I could make those because I couldn't remember what the last ingredient was. Uh, but we can upgrade our shield now. Do I have a shield of the ocean in here? I do not. Now I do. And Asgard's Valor. Grants a holy flame dash which can slam through enemies without taking damage. Alright. Immune to most debuffs. Plus 16 defense while submerged in liquid. Pony. Plus 20 max life. On all, pretty good. Um, let's go back to accessories here. Make the alchemical flask, which is a material of itself. All right. Then there was the melee weapon I wanted to make, right? The full harvester, or whatever it's called. Upgrade of the uh, Death Sickle, which we should be able to make, right? Yeah, it's right here. Full Harvester. Okay. Hmm. Uh, yeah, we're going to put the Flood Tide away, because we're not going to be using that. And then... We need to make a giant tortoise shell, and then we can make the Absorber now. Right? No, what am I missing? Oh, I need the Ancient Manipulator to make that. Oh. Dang, really? Hmm. There we go, and I'll just pull that back out of here then. Uh, see, now that I have Asgard's Valor, I don't really need that. You fragrant corsage, okay. What to make though? I do have the enchanted pearl, right? Yeah, okay. Hmm. 
Yeah, it's like a tough choice here, isn't it? There's a lot of halfway decent stuff, but... I mean, I always just go for a worm scarf, and it's just 10% damage reduction. You know, I am going to actually keep this in my vanity slots. Mm -hmm. At least reforge it. Oh, wait a second. I've got the celestial uh, shell here. Okay. So, hey, uh, Andrew. Plague Hive. All attacks inflict the plague and grants immunity to the plague. Releases bees when damaged. Projectiles spawn plague seekers on enemy hits. Hmm. Wait, the, the plague debuff is extremely powerful. Turtle shell, turtle cage. Okay, so there's no like potions or anything to make out of that guy. All right, let's put that away. That can go. So can that. Um, not so much for that. This one here. Take warding, I guess. I'll take menacing. Alright then. And... All we should do is actually keep this in here. And it is like 1.30 in the morning. Hmm. What was this again? Okay, that one. Gotcha. I don't remember which song it was. Alright, and nope. Oh, dang it. Should have reforged my... Uh, Harvester. Well, what I can do, now that I'm out of pylon, is just do this. Yeah, I'll take Legendary. It's almost 200 damage. Higher damage than Blighted Cleaver. Far less than the Fallen Paladin's Hammer, which I need to reforge this to. I don't think this can get legendary. Yeah, it godly's a good. It can't get any modifiers that modify its size, so. And. Oh, I never. Yeah, see, I. Gotta be checking this stuff. Uh, let's go menacing. There it goes. Never reforged this either. Man. There we go. Menacing. I'll take it. And precise. Yeah, now we'll... uh. Put quick on the wings, which just makes sense, like thematically. But 110 defense now, too. Alright, let's go ahead. Morning, noon, night. Oh. Permafrost is something new to sell, huh? Need to make a house for permafrost here too. The absolute zero, I think, is what it is. Ancient blade, uh, imbued with the archmage of Isis magic. There we go. And Thank you. 
Oh, dang. Hey, no. Stop that. <laughs> Swoop down to get the hearts, and yeah, I just got destroyed right at the end there. Try the Blighted Cleaver this time and see. Ah, oh, come on, get out of there. There we go. All right. Oh, now we get this stuff happening. Okay. Well, these times I should probably hook up like a heart statue or something over here. He's actually almost dead. Nice. Awesome. Uh, we got... We got the plushie. Got the trophy. We got the relic. Face junk. Middle item and... Adrenaline mode damage by 15%. Damage reduction by 5. Uh, get out of here, Lycan. All right, so we got the Aurora Blazer, flamethrower, right? Yeah, that is just yeah. Astral flames that travel in a star-shaped pattern. Okay, the Grab a Star of Sabaton, suspicious-looking jelly bean. Not very fast, but uh, it's got some jumps to it. Uh, let's see. Oreo cells. A you know, radical throw. And those projectiles last a while, don't they? Alright, well, I guess I have to farm up uh, Aureus a few more times then. Well, I promised him up a few more times. Uh, we got the Alula Astralis, which, yeah, that is uh, it's a lot of stars. There is a beautiful Aurora trailed by a star shower. Uh, we got the Aurora Blazer still. We got the Nebulash, which is a pretty decent melee weapon. And we got a Starburster core from uh, Astral Enemies. Uh, down in the caves. I was trying to find myself like a hive pod, but uh, no luck. 
So, Andrew, Mithril Anvil, I need Life Alloy, Starburst Core, Nuclear Fuel Rod, and Jelly Charge Battery. And that will give me two minions plus stuff if I want. Probably not going to worry about it too much right now. Oh, let's go ahead and put that away too. Um, yeah, I'll put that away. And that. Alright, so... There was the... Like, Wither Blossom or something like that, right? The staff I wanted to make. I'm not sure... There it is. <laughs> I'm not sure where it's at. Probably not going to use the Nebulash either. It's pretty good, but... I... Okay, so let's try that again. Oh, it's because I still have these guys out. Okay. There we go. And... I mean, I guess we can go try to fight Leviathan. Oh my god, I ended up with a lot of money doing that. Uh, go fight Leviathan. There's not enough room for copper coins in my piggy bank. That's problematic now, isn't it? Hmm. Oh, I mean, there's room for platinum, so we're good, right? Let me see. An entity in the ocean biome. Has no spawn item, unfortunately. That means I gotta wait over here until Anahita spawns in, and then then we should be good to go. Thing is I can't actually go too far to the left because the aquatic depths are right here. And that she doesn't spawn in that biome. It's kind of weird how they both stopped right at the door right there, isn't it? All right. Hello, Anahita. Ow. Oh, and it... She debuffed me, too. That could have gone better. Hey, uh, what do you have for sale today, anyway? Uh, nothing I need. Okay. Where's my nurse at? There she is. Okay. Uh, I probably shouldn't have to worry too much about the uh, healing up. It's not like the uh, Ani heat is going to spawn in right as soon as I get there. I feel like I'm missing something here. Alright, so... More weapons. <laughs> Finally got the Omniblade. Which is... Kind of interesting. Grab that mushroom while we're here. Let's go uh, try this out, right? Okay, I think my armor killed him. Okay, what is the crit on this? 99% crit chance. 
That is insane. And it's doing like four times damage on a crit. Right here. We're gonna put we don't need to have that on the hot bar, so. Uh, let's see. We have the Hellion Flower Spear. That's pretty good damage too, actually. Uh, Typhon's Greed. It's kind of interesting. Uh, we get the Terra Lance. Which can actually shoot through blocks as well, so... It looks like it pierces enemies as well. Okay. And then we have Lucrezia. Okay. What's the crit on this? 49%. Okay. You know, except for the range. Not bad. And it can hit an enemy multiple times, it looks like, as well. Hmm. Let's see, yeah, 312 damage. Yeesh. I actually got a uh, non-crit right there. Alright, well, I'm going to do a little bit of reforging. Um, actually, the other thing I could do is head up here. And try to get an astral sight from this guy. <laughs> Alright, that worked. <laughs> All right, well. Can I reforge? Uh, probably just godly is all for this one because you can't make it any bigger, so. Looks like godly is the best for Lucrezia as well. Terralands, probably gonna be godly as well, but yeah. Uh, let's see, Astral Scythe. Shoots a scythe ring and accelerates over time. Hey, we can get Legendary on that one, though. Almost 300 damage with that as well. So, 206 to 291. Hmm. Probably not going to use the... The Hellion Flower Spear. Clemens Petals from the Sky on Critical Hits. So that could be useful though too. Hmm. Choices, 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 right? We have the Fallen Paladin's Hammer. Which is a material in and of itself as well, so... When can I upgrade this? Uh, post Moon Lord. Okay. Into the Stellar Contempt. Alright. Oh, I didn't reforge Typhon's Greed. I'm probably not going to use Typhon's Greed, though. I'm not too... I mean, it's kind of spiffy looking, but yeah. Uh, we can put the Optic Staff away now. And... One thing to remember with the Astral Scythe is Scythe Blades uh, head up over time as well. we got a Slime Rain. Wow. Anything new yet, dude? 
Nope. Nothing good. Well, that was quick. All right. It's deep. Let's say some stuff. There we go. And I guess I'm going to head back over to the ocean. The other thing I can do is try fighting the uh, Duke Fishron, but I'd rather not yet. Fish of Cthulhu. Alright, well, she's back now. And see, I am on yeah the proper loadout. I was just doing fishing, so. Oh my Wow, um <laughs> Right, so Spiking enemy makes you immune for a short time. But uh yeah, it seemed to have the exact opposite effect when Leviathan hit me because I got destroyed. Uh we're putting Lucrezia away. <laughs> All right, tungsten. Okay. Yep. And the wondrous crate had dread souls. Okay, cool. Full knight. Oh, he's right there. Derp. I'm used to him wandering, you know, way away, so. Dread Blaster, okay. Chainsaw, chest plate, drill, fork, greaves, ham axe, jackhammer, launcher, pick, alright. Dread Skull, Terror, and Dread Wings, okay. So, I can't make anything with that yet. I'm kind of curious. Do we have, like, a fishbowl or something for these guys? Yeah. Right, um, yeah, that hurt, though, with Lucrezia. Game near the top of the map. Okay, cool. I just need Anahita to spawn in again. Did I ever check this chest out? Oh, apparently not. Alright, and there's that taken care of. I could use the Blighted Cleaver too. Okay, yeah, you know, let's just not, you know, jump into a boulder right away. Okay, thank you for that. Anahid has shown up now. Thank you for that. Oh, 
Oh, you jerk. Oh, you were right there. Okay. I thought it was a little further over. Okay, so Terrorlands, not so great. I'm really starting to hate Leviathan. Wow, we're still doing like 1300 DPS with the sea searing. Oh. <laughs> we're leaving the ocean. Not good. Guys, ah, oh, stupid freaking like aquatic parasite or whatever it's called. Dang it, those music notes are the worst. Contact damage with her is actually not bad compared to everything else. Get out of here. Hey, Anahita is down. Sweet. Oh, freaking aquatic parasites, man. Okay, that, that hurt. Thank God I can heal at least. <laughs> there we go. And we got tiny decapitated Leviathan head. <laughs> okay. Leviathan mask, sonar potion. We got the community even. Nice. Yeah, it's definitely tiny. Uh, we got the relic, brackish flask, got the Anahita trophy, okay, the Anahita plushie. Uh, let's see, Leviathan teeth, okay, Leviathan ambergris, 20 defense, wow. Uh, the abyss, Leviathan and Anahita. And we got the Atlantis. Okay. 
That's a hell of a magic weapon now. All right. Oh, and I got the aquatic heart. Sweet. So there was a thing we can make with the Atlantis. The Tenebrous Tides. And I need an Influx Waiver. I need Amadeus' Trident. Where is Amadeus? I think he's in a sky house somewhere, but don't know where. Huh. Yep, nope, not here. Okay. Definitely not here, but I just didn't want to hang out in the brimstone crag. Not down there by the temple. Um, wow, yeah, no, I have no idea where Amadeus is. Oh, that's right, he's in the desert. Hey, I put the, the fish person in the desert, because why not? Uh, that. Thank you. Um, do, 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 put that away. Increases damage by 6.6%. .6%, crit strike by 3. Max health by 6%. Damage reduction 3.3. .3, depends by 6. Increases life regen while by 2. Um, let's see. Increases movement speed by 6.6 .6 and flight by 13.2. Becomes more powerful as you defeat bosses. For now, I'm going to put this here. And I think I'm going to have to go back to the abyss and get more luminel. All right, uh, let's see. Yeah. All right. So should be able to make the Tenebrous Tides now. I'm missing sea prisms. <laughs> All right. That should be just enough, I think. Oh, Ancient Manipulator? Oh, dang it. That's annoying. Hmm. Hundred eighty three thousand health for this guy. Ow, jerk. Dang. Yeah, um, it's probably a little soon to be trying to fight that guy anyway. Um, 
Yeah, he's down here, and there's a bit we haven't done yet. Yeah, but I think I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. Um, we did get a couple bosses out of the way today, so that definitely helps. And let me put this back. Flyway birdies. There you go. Uh, I didn't manage to farm up a jungle key too, so I should probably head to the dungeon sometime soon. And actually, I'd probably go ahead and just farm up more or the uh, other biome keys off camera. But thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And until the next one, sign signing out. Have fun.